Hi Gemini, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is a general reading for the Collective of Gemini for February-ish, right? This could have already happened, you could be in the thick of it, or maybe it's not taking place yet. It's a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everybody. If you see yourself anywhere in this reading and you need more confirmation, clarity, understanding, wisdom, or guidance, um, the only way that you can know your real journey is to have your cards read. Of course, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. There's a link in the box below. If you'd like to learn more about reading tarot cards, there's a link in the box below as well. Uh, Gemini, let's get into this, okay? Let's get into this. There will be an extended reading um, attached to this reading as well, okay? We're going to dive in and we're going to dig a little bit deeper. And as we work through this reading, I will let you know what the extended reading is going to be about exactly because I don't even know what's happening here yet, okay? As you can see in the video up there, um, I have laid out the root cards. We're going to clarify these root cards and we're going to deliver a message. What we have is the Ten of Swords, right? This is an ending to teamwork and collaboration with the Three of Pentacles in reverse, an ending to something that at one point you thought was wishes fulfilled. Two of Swords, this is a lack of clarity. To the Six of Swords in reverse, this is baggage. This is uh, too much water under the bridge. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse, this is an imbalance in family, home, or work. To the Prince of Cups, your uh, ability to give and to maybe share, receive feelings with another. The Devil in Reverse in the center of your reading. This is about releasing limiting beliefs. The Eight of Swords talks to us about being trapped in your mind for a minute, trying to figure out what action it is you need to take, what kind of movement you need to make to change your situation. The High Priestess in Reverse. This is usually being disconnected from your intuition. To the Three of Cups in Reverse. This is either stifled creativity or some kind of third-party situation. The, the Wheel in Reverse. Either resistance to change or cycle closure. The Princess of Cups is talking about um, no creation happening at all. To the Six of Cups in reverse, either naive or unrealistic. To the Two of Wands to carry it into your future. You know, I'm going to pull a couple extra here off the top of the original deck that I used. Ace of Cups in reverse, either removing emotions or being emotionally overwhelmed. The Five of Wands in Reverse, an increased focus on goals or um, avoiding responsibility of some sort. The Ten of Wands, Burden and Struggle. The Prince of Swords, doing something about it. The Hangman, thinking about what it is you're going to do about it. The Prince of Wands in Reverse, taking no action. To the Five of Pentacles in Reverse, being either recover from financial issues or spiritual poverty. The Seven of Wands in Reverse is a challenge. And the Four of Pentacles is you on lockdown mode. Look to the Ten of Pentacles in reverse as well, some kind of loss, to the Fool that puts you on a new beginning and a new journey, to the Alchemist in reverse, which is untapped talents. All right, let's see what all this means, Gemini. So an ending with the Ten of Swords, an ending, betrayal, deceit, deception. Tell me about the Ten, okay. Yeah, this Ten of Swords, this ending of some sort, some sort of ending has you in a state of um, self-protection. Okay, so there's something either ending or coming to an end, and you feel the need to protect yourself. Look at that, the tower. Yep, there is some kind of massive upheaval and chaos. Possibly that ends in some kind of awakening or revelation. The Three of Pentacles in reverse. This is all about somebody or some people that are in your life that you are not grooving with. There is a lack of collaboration, a lack of teamwork. And it's clarified by the Page of Wands in reverse. This Page of Wands in reverse is about no manifestation. It's about de delays and frustration. To the Nine of Cups. Tell me about this Nine of Cups, Spirit. What is this Nine of Cups about? What is this nine of, oh, I got a flipper. Let's see. 
the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, stuck and stuck, right? So whatever this situation is, you see it as wishes fulfilled and you're stuck on it and you can't quite process this ending that happened with the Ten of Swords in the Tower. Let's see. The Ten of Cups in reverse tells us that there is a misalignment of values and possibly a breakup in, in home or some kind of harmonious situation. Looky there again, the Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, right? You don't want to let go of this. You don't, you're not willing to accept this ending. The Four of Swords in reverse, this is being restless. It's a lack of progress and it's mentally rest restless to the nine of swords in reverse this is hopelessness torment um torment and hopelessness the two of swords in reverse this is uh, lack of clarity mental chaos mental chaos to the six of swords in reverse spirit clarify this six of swords in reverse for me clarify the six of swords in reverse to the five of swords in reverse this is um <clears throat> a lot of resentment um, a lot of resentment building up right here. The Queen of Pentacles, this imbalance in the home or the family, an imbalance in the feelings. Yeah, look, the Two of Pentacles in reverse. This is disorganized. There's an imbalance. Tell me about the imbalance, Spirit. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. What is this imbalance? What is this disorganization? Financial disarray. Yeah, to the Ten of Pentacles. All right, I'm thinking that this is a whole financial thing that's going on here. Um, whole financial thing. Okay, so the Two of Pentacles in reverse, financial disorganization to the Ten of Pentacles, something that you were building on. You were building on... Um, and you, you, you saw it as wishes fulfilled. Maybe it was a job that you just loved and perhaps it came to an end. I mean, this could be a family situation or a person. The Prince of Cups, right? This is being in touch with your intuition, in touch with your emotions, wanting to share your intuition and your emotions with somebody. To the Knight of Swords, this is taking action. To the Chariot, more action. To the Seven of Cups in reverse. This is um, this is going to be about uh, diversionary tactics. So trying to change things by telling somebody how you feel. I see. And we'll read this all from the top in a second. The Devil in reverse. Releasing limiting beliefs. What are these limiting beliefs? Because you're in the Eight of Swords right here trying to release these beliefs. What is this limiting belief right here with the Devil in reverse? In the center of the reading, this whole reading revolves around limiting beliefs. Releasing limiting beliefs. Two of Swords in reverse again, right? mental chaos a lack of clarity tell me about the tell me about the devil in reverse right here what is this about the sun in reverse feeling weighed down not very optimistic trying to get a new perspective what are the belief okay the six of wands fall from grace a state of disrepute what is the devil what is the root of this devil in reverse in the center of gemini's reading the ten of swords right all right, so the t okay, so okay, eight of swords. That's you trying to release these limiting beliefs. What spirit? What's the ten of swords? Okay, the wheel. All right, spirit says this is a turning point in your destiny, and you need to let go of it. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Spirit, can you tell me what is the Ten of Swords? What is ending? Okay, to the Page of Pentacles, let go of it to manifest something new. All right, understood, understood. So the High Priestess, disconnected from your intuition, possibly secrets. To the Queen of Pentacles in the realm of your personal security. To the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This is lacking ambition, lacking focus, perfectionism. Spirit, tell me more about this Empress. I'm sorry, this High Priestess in reverse. What is going on here, Gemini? What's happening? Tell me more, please. Tell me more, please, about the High Priestess in reverse. The Ace of Cups in reverse. Not understanding. Okay. 
Yeah, the Five of Pentacles, why you were left out in the cold. The Three of Cups in reverse. Is this third party or is this just stifled creativity? The Five of Wands, lots of conflict. Perhaps it's other people surrounding you that where there's a lot of conflict. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Five of Wands to the wheel in reverse. What's the wheel in reverse? Is this resistance to change? What is this wheel in reverse right here about? Yeah, the two of wands, it's resistant to change. Two of wands in reverse, fear of the unknown, and the emperor in reverse. This is control and injustice. Okay. The princess of cups in reverse to the six of cups in reverse. What is this about right here? See, this is a general reading. So I'm sequestered to and ifs and buts. And if this was, was if this were a personal reading, we'd be talking about the who, what, where, when, why, and how, right? But I can't do that because I don't know who I'm talking about. I don't even know what I'm talking about because there's no direct energetic connection. It's a collective, right? It's a schmear. <laughs> okay. Okay. To the five of cups and the moon in reverse. Tell me a little bit about the moon in reverse. What's happening in the moon of reverse? This is repressed emotions. Um, this is releasing fear. Six of swords in reverse, two of cups in reverse, ten of wands, and the ace of swords in reverse. To the two of wands. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see what we have for these extras over here. The ace of cups in reverse. Again, this is emotional repression. Removing the emotions also. Five of wands in reverse. An increased focus on goals. To the Ten of Wands. Maybe the Five of Wands in reverse is avoiding responsibility. To the Ten of Wands, burden and struggle. To the Prince of Swords, taking some action. In the Hangman, thinking about what you're going to do. Prince of Wands in reverse, delays, frustration. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Spiritual poverty. Seven of Wands, overwhelmed. Four of Pentacles, on lockdown because of the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Brand new beginning in a brand new journey to the Alchemist in reverse, which is talking to us about untapped talents. Untapped talents. Tell me about the Alchemist in reverse, please. Tell me about the Alchemist in reverse, please. Strength, right? Powering through it. Powering through it. Okay. Okay. Anything else you want to say, Spirit, before I read this spread? Anything else? Yeah, to the Three of Cups in reverse again. Powering through it. I think this is almost like a group of people coming up against you, maybe? What else? What else? All right, we're going to, the extended reading, now that I've done this spread, the extended reading is going to be about what this Three of Cups in Reverse is about, okay? That's what the extended reading is going to be about. It's going to dig in to whatever this, either this group of people that is coming up against you or um, the stifled creativity somehow, some way. There's other people involved here, and we're going to figure this out. All right, let's read from the top. From the top, Jim. Okay. All right. So the Ten of Swords, right? Something has come to an ending. Something has come to an absolute ending. There is, for me, a sense of betrayal happening here, okay? Some kind of betrayal. This puts you, this ending, this betrayal, puts you in a lockdown mode of self-protection. It's also about greed and materialism, too, Okay, so let's keep that in mind as we go through. But you're definitely in a lockdown self-protection mode because there has been a tower moment that has happened in your life. Okay, there has been upheaval and chaos. And I don't think it's a revelation and an awakening. I think it's like a straight up upheaval and chaos. There is something that is pulling the foundation out from underneath you. But you have to understand this being a major arcana right here, that the tower, this is spirit 
um, this is the spirit making this happen because they need you to go in a different direction. They need you to go in a different direction. And because we are allowed free will, right? Spirit can't come in and just rearrange everybody's life or everybody's life would be perfect, right? That can't happen. So the whole, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink, but you can salt the oats, right? And that's what's happening here. Spirit has salted the oats and this tower moment is happening. You think that this tower moment is just, just, just terrible, right? But the fact is, is that spirit's trying to get you to move in a different direction and you haven't taken the hints from the past. So now spirit's coming in and saying, you must move, Gemini. You must, you must change your energetic placement. You must move. Okay. Three of Pentacles in reverse. This is um, a lack of teamwork, a lack of collaboration that is happening around you. To the Page of Wands in reverse. This Page of Wands in reverse is frustration. It is, see the Page of Wands upright is about enthusiasm, exploration, discovery. And in the reverse, it's not very enthusiastic. So what these two cards tell me right here is that people around you are not very enthusiastic about you. I don't know what that means to you, Gemini, but that's what I'm picking up. Okay. Nine of cups. You thought this situation was wishes fulfilled. You're just as happy as a clam, right? Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. It's all good. Um, I just want to say that perhaps you have lost um, some kind of situation because of a drinking problem. It doesn't apply to everybody. That's a side note, a sidebar. You could have been fired from a job or fired from a relationship because of a drinking problem. Just throwing that out there. All right, let's get back to everybody else. So the Nine of Cups, right? You saw this as wishes fulfilled. You did. And the Two of Swords in reverse says now you're in just a state of mental chaos. You don't know what the hell happened. What happened, right? Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This is stuck, right? You can't seem to get over this tower moment um, because you were just happy as could be. And then all of a sudden, boom, your whole world blew up and you're stuck. You can't seem to get over it. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This is a misalignment of values. Something is happening here that is that, that you don't understand. You don't understand what's happening. Again, to the Nine of Cups, right? It's, it's wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. You are trucking along just fine, right? And then boom, there was some kind of conspiracy against you that blew up your world. Four of Swords in reverse. You just you just can't wrap your mind around it. It's about being mentally restless. It's about um, a lack of progress. You just don't understand what happened. And the Nine of Swords in reverse, right? This is intense anxiety, hopelessness, and despair. So this tower moment that happened took something away from you that was very, very important to you, Gemini. The Six of Swords in reverse. This is, um, can't move on. You can't move on. Hence the, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse as well, right? You're stuck in this place and you can't move on to the Five of Swords in reverse. This is a card about, um, resentment. This is a card about being open to change as well, but you're not open to change because you just, you don't understand and, and you have feelings inside of you that are just like, what the fuck? What the fuck, man? That's how you're feeling here. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is an imbalance in work or an imbalance in family. This situation that's going on here could be work. It could be family. It could be a love relationship. It just totally depends on you. I'm sequestered, right? If maybe, kind of, sort of, instead of who, what, where, when, and why. So the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, it's an imbalance. Um, to the Two of Pentacles in reverse. This is um, disorganization and um, financial disorganization. 
to the Ten of Pentacles. What you thought was solid, what you thought was 100% is not, is not, okay? The Prince of Pentacles tells me, I'm sorry, the Prince of Cups tells me that you want to talk about it. You want, you want to share your feelings about the situation and you want to talk about it right? You're struggling with the devil in reverse. Um, the devil in reverse is about releasing your limiting beliefs, but I'm also picking up detachment here, okay? You're struggling to detach yourself from the situation because this is what you thought was golden, okay? Yeah, see, the Knight of Swords, you want to take action to talk about this. The Chariot, you want to, to you have the, the determination to take whatever action is necessary to fix the situation. But the Seven of Cups comes in and it talks about diversionary tactics. Diversionary tactics, illusion. Tell me about the Seven of Cups real quick, Spirit. Tell me what this Seven of Cups is right here. Please tell me what the Seven of Cups in Reverse is all about. What is the Seven of Cups in Reverse about? Same, same, it gave me no clarity. Tell me what the Seven of Cups in Reverse are about, is about, please. Okay. Temperance, balance, patience, purpose, right? Like I said, you thought you were on point. You thought you were going in the right direction. And then the tower moment happened and it blew out everything to smithereens and you want to talk about it you want to share your feelings about it with the prince of cups you want to take you're preparing to take some action with the knight of swords in the chariot the seven of cups in reverse says illusion fantasy to the temperance card illusion and fantasy balance patience purpose moderation patience purpose give me one more please to temperance major arcana right okay to the two of cups in reverse so um yeah you want to balance the situation out you want to communicate about this misalignment of values that is happening in this situation two of cups in reverse is an imbalance in a relationship of some sort like i said it could be work could be family could be love could be anything the devil in reverse this is trying to come to terms releasing limiting beliefs trying to come to terms with things right um, two of swords in reverse, but you don't have enough clarity. You, you're confused. The sun in reverse, right? You are not happy about this. Not happy at all. Six of wands in reverse, a fall from grace in a state of disrepute. This is where you stand. You are in a fall from grace. You are in a state of disrepute, right? Now, this is general. You can switch these energies, right? But someone is in a fall from grace in a state of disrepute. Major Arcana comes in, Wheel of Fortune, and says this is a turning point in your destiny. Right back to the tower, right? Right back to the tower. Um, Spirit is trying to get you to go in a different direction. And up until this point, well, not even up until this point, you're resistant. You are resistant to go in a different direction. But the, but the universe is trying to change your destiny. It's trying to create a turning point in your life and you're resistant to it to the page of pentacles this wheel of fortune is trying to present to you the manifestation of a new opportunity financial or otherwise um but man gemini is just super resistant to it the eight of swords this is trying to wrap your mind around what kind of movement what kind of action you need to take to change this situation the high priestess in reverse disconnected with your intuition you don't understand what's happening here you thought it was so good. You thought it was so solid. And it's blowing up in your face. The Queen of Pentacles. Home, family, security. To the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. A lack of ambition, a lack of fo focus, perfectionism. Um, perfectionism, right? This whole thing is not how it's supposed to be. And uh, you are disconnected in your intuition. You're baffled. You're just baffled. To the Ace of Cups in reverse. This is a lot of repressed emotions, right? Not knowing how to handle any of this. 
It's also cutting off of creation. You are no longer allowed to create in this situation. And the Five of Pentacles comes in and says, you've been left out in the cold. Why? To the Three of Cups in reverse. Possible third party situation, whether it's family, work, friendships, love. Um, it doesn't matter what the circumstances are. The point is, is that there could be a third party situation. A third party doesn't always have to be just one other person, right? A third party can be um, a group of people or your employer or the upper management sitting down in a meeting, right? But it could very well be just one other person. It could be something getting, it's anything that gets in the way of creation, okay? Three of Cups in reverse, stifled creativity. Somehow, some way, there's stifled creativity going on here. To the Five of Wands, this is competition, okay? This is tension, conflict, and competition. So there is some kind of competition happening here, whether it's in a love relationship or work. Something is happening that is squeezing you out, and you didn't kind, you kind of didn't see it coming. It, it's kind of taking you by surprise. The wheel in reverse. This talks about um, a resistant to change, resistance to change. Right? You are resistant to this change. That's why the tower moment came in, and that's why the wheel of fortune is right there, um, talking to you about a turning point in your destiny. The devil in reverse, being major arcana as well, is urging you to release your limiting beliefs about this situation, to let it go. So sports. So sport. So spirit's a good sport. So spirit can move you into where you need to be, but you are resistant to this change. The two of wands in reverse because there's fear of the unknown. Emperor in reverse comes in and talks about domination, control, and inflexibility. And that's, that's what you're doing. This is major arcana. It is saying, Gemini, you are being inflexible. You're not seeing the bigger picture. You're not seeing the writing on the wall. All you're seeing right now is this loss. But there is something good that is going to come out of this loss if you will just let it go. Justice in reverse. This is injustice, right? This is, this is injustice in regards to two things. You feel that this whole thing is an injustice, Gemini. You absolutely do. You feel like this whole thing is an injustice, and that's why you can't quite wrap your mind around it. But Spirit is saying um, with Major Arcana here in Justice in Reverse, Spirit is saying that, that the only injustice here is that you are not accepting the change that's trying to be brought into your life. That's what injustice is about. Tell me, Spirit, injustice. Tell me, give me one for injustice, please. Give me one for injustice. And it might be that this all happens so damn fast, Gemini, that you haven't had time to wrap your mind around it. But I'm here to tell you that there's something that Spirit's trying to bring into your life. And the old had to be removed in order for the new to be able to put into place. Yeah, the world in reverse. Major Arcana Spirit is saying, bring this to a closure. Accept it. You don't have to understand it, but accept it and close it out to the Princess of Cups so we can bring you a message of creation. So you can create in the area that it is that you need to create in because where you're at right now is not where you're supposed to be. As comfortable as it is, it's not where you're supposed to be. Okay. The Princess of Cups in reverse, right? So we have the Princess of Cups upright to the world in reverse. Close this out. Get some personal closure so we can all begin creating someplace else. Princess of Cups in reverse follows it as a root card and says that there is a blockage in creation, a blockage in creation to the six of cups in reverse. This is a card about being unrealistic. It's a card about being naive. The five of cups, um, 
Okay, so the Princess of Cups in reverse is talking about a blockage of creation to the Six of Cups in reverse. Six of Cups upright is talking to us about reuniting and reconciling. Six of Cups in reverse says there is, there will be no reconciliation here. It's over and there will be no reconciliation. The Five of Cups, loss, regret, disappointment, and despair. To the Ten of Swords about this about this ending. The moon in reverse, repressed emotions. To the six of swords in reverse, um, lots of baggage, having a hard time moving on from the break of some kind of significant relationship in your life with the two of cups. Ten of wands, it's a burden and a struggle. And the ace of swords in reverse, you still don't understand it. You still don't understand. You still don't have clarity as to why this all happened because with the nine of cups twice you were cruising along just fine and then boom the tower right and again i want to point out it could be that the that the ten of swords twice and the tower and um the upheaval and the chaos that's happening it could be because of a drinking problem or a substance abuse problem of some sort. You may have lost something significant in your life because of a drinking problem or a substance abuse problem. Just saying. Two of Wands. Looking down the road for the future, right? Uh, looking down the road. These cards are saying that it's unrealistic to reconcile this because this is not being allowed to happen in your future. Spirit is saying you are not taking this into your future because we have something different that you need to be paying attention to. The nine of wands, right? <sighs> Resilient, persistent, worn out. This guy is just worn out, right? To the three of wands, preparation and foresight. What am I going to do now? What am I going to do now? What am I going to do now? The Ace of Cups, right? Overwhelming emotions, the removal of emotions, repressed emotions to the Five of Wands in reverse. This is um, the avoidance of responsibility to the Ten of Wands. Burden and struggle. Hmm. Let me check something real quick right here. The avoidance of responsibility by the avoidance of conflict, right? To the Ten of Wands, burden and struggle. To the Prince of Swords, this is um, taking action, communication. It's the communication. It's the communication that's coming into you about all of this, right? It creates the burden and the struggle. It creates... Um, repressed emotions to the hangman, right? Trying to think, trying to pause, surrender, come out on the other side with a new perspective. This is major arcana, right? One of the meanings of the hangman is your personal will being broken. And I can't help but to see that all over this reading is that you were in a place that was not going to be in your best interest and spirits trying to get you out and you, you're not paying attention. So the tower moment comes in and that's when things blow up and end. It's your personal will being broken, pausing and surrendering. Come out on the other side with a new perspective. The Prince of Wands in reverse. Um, stop trying to fix it. Stop trying to, to fix it. Prince of Wands in reverse is about delays and frustration. To the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Pentacles in reverse is talking about spiritual poverty, being completely and totally just blown over by this whole thing. To the Seven of Wands in reverse, this is overwhelmed. This is giving up. 
to the four of pentacles giving accepting okay accepting the situation giving up the fight and then being on lockdown mode in the four of pentacles four of pentacles is about control right it's about control and stability so now after all of this happens you're scrambling to lock it down right i need to be i need to uh look at my bank account i need to look at my investments i need to i need to uh protect myself i just need to figure out what i'm going to do from this point forward that's the four of pentacles to the ten of pentacles in reverse because there has been a huge l there has been a huge loss here Gemini, a huge loss. To the fool, major arcana. Spirit saying, I know you don't understand, but we are putting you in a position to move into your future. To, 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 this is a turning point in your destiny. And this new beginning, this new journey, this quantum leap is needed from you. Gemini and because you were really comfortable wishes fulfilled comfort happiness and satisfaction you were just rolling along you wouldn't have ever left this intentionally and there is something that is so much better for you coming in the alchemist in reverse this is about untapped talents major arcana saying that your skill set was not being used for the greater good in this particular situation and you needed to be removed from it because there is better things strength major arcana coming in and saying that you know it's not that you need strength you do have the strength you have the strength to do what needs to be done in order to move into where you need to be okay the resistance will be your downfall though to the three of cups again some kind of stifled creativity third party situation something and we are going to this is what we are going to focus on in our extended reading so i'm going to set that aside right there so there you go gemini this was your general reading all right if this hasn't happened yet it very well may happen um you might be in the middle of it it might be over for you it might be just beginning but there is going to be a tower moment that is going to blow up your world that you possibly are not expecting so be prepared right be prepared and um be ready for this right being for what is it forewarned is forearmed right be ready for this because something is going to shake your life up but it is in your best interest with the wheel of fortune it will be a turning point in your destiny and again for some of you out there this may be a big huge blow up in your face because of a substance abuse problem so there you go gemini um, stand by for the extended reading we're going to see a little bit deeper what all of this is about and what this three of cups in reverse is and why this is all happening to you okay there's a link in the box below and uh, the extended reading is only two dollars two bucks right two bucks if it's worth two bucks for you join me over on vimeo if this is where we part ways namaste my friends and if you want some if you want your cards read reach out to me deepthoughtswithdana.com and we'll see what your situation is all about okay namaste